Hi, I'm Joe with Bogner Amplifiers. I'm here with the Musicians Network uh, going over some of our amplifiers. This right here is our brand new Goldfinger 54 Phi. It's based off of the original Goldfinger's clean channel. Um, it's got two sets of tubes in it. It's got two 6L6s and two 6V6s, uh, which you can combine or use separately, which gives you a lot of versatility, uh, depending on the type of player that you are, depending on the type of sound that you want, but you can get kind of a whole cavalcade of tones with uh, just one amplifier. If you're the kind of guy that just needs one channel, um, you don't need two channels, but you want one channel that does it all, the Goldfinger 54 is definitely the amp for you. It goes from nine watts to 66 watts, um, depending on which tubes you're using and if, how, the, how you're using them. Right now I have the tubes uh, in 6L6 mode, um, and I can go through some sounds, but let me go over some of the features of the amp. Um, so you have your presence control, which is global, and the controls, you know, it's always in. Um, your reverb is always on, it's foot switchable, but as long as it's, as long as it's turned up and it's not switched with the foot switch on off, it's on. You have an effects loop, um, which is basically controlled, the volume of your effects loop is controlled also on the face of the amp. The controls to switch the speakers, uh, I'm sorry, the, 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 the tubes are in the back of the amp, so you can switch between them in the back as well. There's also two boosts on this amp. One is a linear boost with a, with a trim pot. If you can look right over here, um, you can turn this trim pot up a bit, and when you put that boost on, you're going to get a little bit more gain from the amp. So you're going to kind of drive it a little bit harder, and you're going to get a little bit more uh, crunch, so to speak. This boost here, the solo boost, is basically a mid boost. Um, when you turn that on, you're going to get kind of a little bit of a volume boost, but it's going to be, you're going to hear a much thicker mid range. Um, there's also an expand switch for the highs and the mid range. I'm, I'm sorry, the highs and the lows, which will of course give you a, a, a higher boost if you want a little bit of a high, more of a presence, and a low boost, which will give you a little bit more bottom end. Um, the gain control is a, your typical gain, uh, which will give you a little bit more crispness to the amp. Loudness is your master volume, and you have the tone stack in here, bass, middle, and treble. This here is a Bax EQ. Um, this is really cool if you want to take your, your tone spectrum and move it from a really wide spectrum, which is kind of like where your low lows and your high highs and kind of compress them to the center and kind of center out so you get a little bit of an even more even sounding uh, more single note separation when you use the back CQ um, I'll demonstrate all of it uh, I'll give you a couple of sounds and show you kind of what it's able to do so right now we're um, this is in 6L6 in high so you're getting about 33 watts or something somewhere in that so it's pretty clean you get a lot of headroom gain up too high. So you can hear kind of a, it's kind of a really cool, clean, great for the Telecaster. Um, if you want to get a little bit more uh, volume out of it, of course, you could turn up the loudest here. You can add the other tubes in. If I add in the six V6s, you'll hear a little bit of a volume boost now, and it's, it'll, it'll, it'll get a little bit gritty, it'll break up a bit more. So I'll just play the same thing so you can kind of hear it. So you can kind of tell it's a little bit grittier. If you want to dirty up the sound a bit, um, you can keep the six V6s in, maybe take the six L6s out. Um, put on the boost here, and you can see put the trim pot turned up a bit, put the gain up a little bit higher, and you can get a little bit of a grittier tone. You can hear how the mids kind of come out with that switch here. So, and also, as far as getting a really kind of like rocking kind of... And if you want to get that kind of nice country chicken bacon. You know, it doesn't get a, it, it doesn't get a super, super high amount of gain. 
Uh, it's not a very gainy amp, but you can get a nice amount of dirt and chunk out of it. Um, it's very versatile. It takes it takes pedals really well too. You can put any pedal through the front of it, not really lose the tone of the amp, and really get a great, you know, clean over. Uh, I'm sorry, clean uh, headroom. A lot, a lot of clean headroom in the 6L6 mode. So it's a really versatile one-channel amp. It's pretty lightweight. This is running through a 212 cabinet. It's got a cream back 65 and a, a vintage 30 uh, Celestion. Um, great sounding cabinet. We also have a combo version of this same exact uh, head with a 112 um, uh, cream back 65, um, which is a little bit a little bit tighter sounding. It's a smaller a smaller uh, cabinet. Weighs a little bit more than like a deluxe reverb, so it's not too heavy. And it's if you're a, you know a gigging musician that doesn't like to carry two pieces, the combo might work better for you. But yeah, this is our brand new Goldfinger 54, very versatile, one channel amp, definitely check it out. Today, uh, I'm showing them the Atma 8, uh, 18 combo. Uh, we introduced the Atma aluminum cabinet and head uh, a few years back, um, ultra modern aluminum head shell, um, aluminum, aluminum cabinet. Uh, a few years back, we also do this amp in a wood head shell now. But this year for NAMM 2016, we've introduced the Atma in a small combo. This is a three channel, 18 uh, watt EL84 amplifier. Basically, uh, you can go from one watt, bedroom volume, play in your bedroom, not disturb the neighbors kind of a volume and record with a close mic into a laptop uh, to 18 watts where you can gig with it, play a small gig with a drummer and a bass player in a small coffee house or even a you know, a smaller bar, it's, it's pretty loud, um, and it's very versatile because you can switch between one watt, five watts, or 18 watts with a tiny little toggle switch in the back under the amp, you can switch between those three. Um, in each of the channels, you get different controls that are active. In the clean channel, which I'm on now, the lit up controls are the controls that are active. In the clean channel, you get a volume, you get a tone sweep, and you also get a bright switch and a cut so you can add brights or take some away and make it a little darker so you get a really nice chimey box kind of a uh, AC30 AC15 kind of a tone from the from the EL84s so it's a little bit different um, than the other amp I showed you it's a lot cleaner and if you in engage the bright switch in this channel you take the brights away a bit, you can kind of get a little darker. If you have a guitar that's a little bit bright on the high end and you want to cut a little bit of that down, you can switch that little bright switch and it will it's up to the up position to the dark position and it'll give you a little bit of a darker tone. And then in neutral, you're going to get the tone of the guitar. This guitar happens to have a P90 in the, in the neck, so combined with the, combined with the uh, humbucker, it gives you a little bit of a different sound. But also, the other features of the amp are that you can switch it with a foot switch to um, two other overdriven channels, the clean, the, the, the clean channel, the cream channel, which is this one. You're using this gain control here. The volume control switches to this one here. And you have the tone stack, the treble, middle, and bass that's also active. So in that, you get... <laughs> lot more grit from it. I have the turn, turn, tone turned up. And there's also a 60s, 70s, and 80s switch, um, which kind of is uh, given as reference to the decade, 60s, 70s, and 80s. 60s will give you kind of an open kind of a distortion sound like a uh, open overdrive it kind of is not too tight not too not too crisp not too crunchy uh, if you put it to 70s you get a bit more of a spongy kind of a kind of a distortion t tone it tightens up the sound a little bit and in 80s you get a much more compressed 80s kind of a tone so you'll hear here So you got three different uh, tonal variations with the gain stage. There's also a crunch solo channel, which is a little bit more gain. If you turn up the gain here, you'll see that you'll, you'll get the volume will switch from this pot to this pot. So this is your new volume now. 
and there's also a separate gain in the back of the amp. You can, if you want the solo channel to have a bit more gain, there's a, there's a, a knob that you can turn underneath and add, add gain to this channel as well. And this is in 70s mode, so... Uh, And this right now, as I've been playing it, has been in 5 watt mode. Just really quick, I'll throw it to 1 watt so you can see what 1 watt sounds like. And I have the volume here on about 9 o'clock, and this is 1 watt. So pretty cool for one watt, it's pretty darn loud. You could play at this volume and probably not disturb someone in the next room um, playing along with your albums, plugging it into your, your, your uh, interface and into your laptop and record with it. So it's a really versatile amp from bedroom to small gigs. And in, in this retails for $21.99 um, and it'll be available sometime mid-February. Mid Hi, I'm Joe with Bogner Amplifiers. You're at NAMM 2016. We're here with the Musician Network and stay tuned for really cool stuff from these guys.